Well, it's been a successful year for Miss North Dakota, and now there are new title holders. Miss North Dakota 2018, Miss North Dakota 2018 is Katie Olson, and Miss North Dakota's Outstanding Teen 2018 is Micah Schlittenhart. And they're both here to talk a little bit about their upcoming adventures. It's always fun to have royalty yes, in the studio is. with Although us. Although I'm jealous I'm not wearing my crown right now. But let's just talk about, you both just got these new titles. So Katie, let's start with you because you were just crowned on Saturday. So the most recent, just walk us through those moments. This was your second time running in the pageant. Yeah, last year I was second runner up. So that was little, it was very quiet, you know, you just got to leave and you're like very proud of yourself. And then I came back this year and I had a goal and I wanted to win. And so doing that and going through that goal was really exciting. And it was just a wave of emotions when they call your name. You kind of don't believe it's real. And I had to turn to someone and say, is this real? Like, and Liz G. Jensen was like, yes, you need to turn around because you got to put on your crown now. <laughs> and it just, it doesn't feel real because you dream about this for so long. And I, I was a little sister in the pageant when I was seven years old. So ever mm -hmm. since then, I've thought about it. So having that moment come true was really special. Wow. What was the difference this year? Did you feel something different? Did you, what was the change? What, what made you win this year, do you think? I don't know. Last year, I Everyone told me I did so well because I just was me. So that's something I really tried to keep this year was just keep my attitude, keep all me and go in as Katie Olson. And that's really, really was the main goal. And I think just my goal of wanting to win, really pushing that and really working for it was the biggest thing. And there was a lot of preparation that went into it this year that didn't happen last year. Let's talk about your platform real quick too, mm -hmm. because I think it's important to know what each person's passionate mm -hmm. about. Yeah, so my platform is the motivation, mindset, positivity at every turn. And I love that you were just talking about journaling because that's exactly what it is. It's learning to deal with those ups and downs in life. And I don't think that's a skill that we're teaching to children right now and everyone. And it's something that's so important, learning how to deal with the stress that comes in life, the anxieties, and learning what works best for you is really important. And I'm really excited to spread that message around the state this year. Micah, can you tell us a little bit about your experience when you were crowned? Well, this had been my first year competing in pageants, and so the Bismarck pageant where I got my preliminary title had been my first pageant. And so coming into North Dakota, I hadn't expected to get anything. My goal had been top, top five, but there were a couple other girls who are really experienced, and I just didn't see it coming. But I wanted to represent myself as best as I possibly could, so I just came into it as prepared as possible, and like Katie was saying, just try to be me. What does it mean to be Miss Outstanding Teen? So it is the version, like the teen version of Miss North Dakota then, yes. Wow. And you were crowned on Friday, yes. so did you cry too? Because Katie told us she cried a little bit. <laughs> I didn't cry. I, <laughs> there, was, there was a little crying over some had variation switching. One of the other states has already claimed the dance that I had been planning to do. Oh. But that was the only time I've cried so far. <laughs> the crowning moment, though, um, it, was, it was incredible. It's something I would not expected to happen, and being there next to some of my best friends. It was, it was incredible. Not only are you two beautiful, but you just are well-spoken and poised. What, tell us what you have really gotten out of being in a pageant and being in pageants. It's, you know, for young girls, what can they get from this as well if they would like to follow in your footsteps? Well, I think what you said, of course, is we've learned to speak. Public speaking is really important with the job. And that's something that I've really learned is learning to present myself in a, in a really good way. And of course, the scholarship money, that's what it is. It's a scholarship organization. And I was just counting it up the other day. And just the two years that I competed in the MISS program, I earned about $16,000 Wow! in just those two years. And that's really important because that's, what, that's the goal of the MISS North Dakota organization, the MISS North Dakota's Outstanding Teen Organization, is to help put those girls through school. And just being able to compete two years and earn that money and help pay for my college is really special. And I'm really grateful for it. If people want to maybe meet you guys, maybe take the selfie next to the crowns, <laughs> yes. or do you guys have any events that you're going to be out at soon? Oh, gosh, yeah. There is a couple fairs we'll be at. Yes. Um, local pageants start in just two weeks, so mm -hmm. head out to those. Watch your local title holders be crowned and hopefully compete and be involved with yes. those as well. So, yeah, we'll be out and about. And if you ever want us to be at an event, you can go to bookmissnd at gmail.com, and you can learn about getting us at your events. Yeah. I think you could really inspire a lot of girls, mm -hmm. so... So great to meet you guys. Well, thank, thank you for you. having us. All right, we're going to be wrapping things up here on North Dakota Today after this.